sometimes surprisingly hard to make the pegs stay where you want them to after you've tried to turn them to get the string in tune. So the most important thing is that you push and turn at the same time. If I lower the string a little bit, now I'm actually turning, that's the simple bit perhaps, but I'm also pushing in extremely hard towards the centre of the peg box. So when I'm on the outside pegs here, I'm pushing towards me and I'm leaning against the vial um, really firmly so that I can push really hard, sometimes quite uncomfortable. And I'm turning the pegs slowly so that I can stop when I get to the right point. the peg it should stay where it is. Now if you haven't pushed in hard enough it will quite often either undo completely which is not a good thing for the string or it'll slip back to where it was before. If I'm tuning on this side these pegs have still got to get leverage so I've got to, in this case to put a little finger around the other side of the peg box or in some cases I could put fingers in the peg box or I could hold on to the neck with the other hand. But if, again, if you don't push inwards at the same time as turning, the peg will just slip. And if it's too awkward to get hold of the peg because it's at the wrong angle or because you don't have the strength in your hands, it's better to turn the bar around and use two hands, whichever hand is stronger, to push the peg in and to give some leverage against it on either side, doesn't matter which hand. Or if you prefer, you can do it this way around, depending on your strong or weak hands. Uh, and you can pluck the string to hear the pitch. But the essential thing is getting a lot of leverage and taking hold of the flat surface of the peg, not trying to turn it on the ends or on the edges, which is much less inefficient. When I'm turning the pegs on the base, I still need a lot of leverage to make them stay in the right place. And because the neck is so much bigger now than the treble, I'm able to push the neck against my head really firmly so that I've got something to push against. And I hope that it stays where I leave it. I would never push the peg in afterwards. It, you might think it's going to make it stay, but it actually has the opposite effect in many cases. And on this side, to get leverage, there's a bit more space to get hold of the peg box, but often the peg's at the wrong angle. So again, you may have to turn the bar around, have it facing you, and have your two hands to get maximum strength.